Hello boys and girls, I'm Redevil, we're gonna age of the ring cast. We are back on Anorian today. Redevil, why Anorian? You hate Anorian. Well, hate is a strong word, but yes, I hate Anorian. But the reason why I'm doing this map is because I saw the people involved. In the top left, we have a Harad. It is Violence, man who woke up and chose. His teammate is a Misty. It's Garrosh. Okay, so Violence and Garrosh teaming up. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We have a Harad mirror top. It's Adavasi, and his teammate is, it's a Gondor, and it's Hesh. Literally, double Turk versus double Polak. Turkey versus Poland. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to root for either side. I'm just going to play it impartial, you know, in the typical Root Devil style. But, hey, I feel like this might be able to kick up some fireworks. So, uh, yeah, pick your team, Turkey or Poland. Here we go. And if I see one comment saying Root Devil should pick Turkey, I will literally strangle you. Anyway. So, we've got a Mahout start, which is being crippled by the dry spell, which I'm pretty sure does actually reduce the the recruitment time as well, even though it doesn't say it. It says nothing about that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it does, but someone might need to fact check me on that. But yeah, um, I think Adavasi was trying to get first blood. He is building the Bazaar there, so I think he did. And is it going to be an early double team? Ah, oh, maybe mugging on the Warglem, maybe that's what he was thinking. Instead, the warg is actually killing. Bruh. Okay. Hesh, come on, man. I know it's been a while since the glory days of you and Dranza just ripping it up, just letting it rip, just doing all that good stuff, but you just lost four horses to a warg lair. I'm sorry. But yeah, obviously, um, this is what you want to see in 2v1s. One guy to go cav and basically support his teammate, so you like get like a soft 2v1 and it can really throw off your teammate. Anyway, early mountain orcs from Garrosh. I think Garrosh is the least experienced player here. He's the one I've seen the least. So, but yeah, Adavasi and Hesh, I mean, we know them. But they're, they're, they're hallmarks. And uh, Violence has uh, basically made his appearance like the last couple months, so... I don't know. It might be even Steven. I I, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look. Ballsy on them for going Harad... Uh, sorry, Harad. Mahood. I'm gonna guess they did that because the map is small and they're so far, so you can actually get really good value out of Mahood. But it seems they're gonna fall back on the trust and true, or tried and true, uh, warlords. Anyway, I would like to see, uh, this is Hesh, right? Just so I don't get him mixed up. Let's look at a building instead. Okay, it is. But yeah, I would like to see more Cav, so I'm glad he's not giving up on that. Don't feed to the Cave Troll, man, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> it didn't work against Wargs, I don't think it's gonna work against Cave Trolls. And uh, these Black Root Vale archers might have the work cut out if um, Garrosh decides to get some um, more Mountain Orcs in here. They might might have a bit of a hard time. Anyway, lucky the Fog of War hasn't exposed violence here, because otherwise these cavalry would be right on their tail, and that's a lot of easy tramples. I mean, there are some spearmen in there, but these guys for sure. And I think, yep, they've shown their position. Garrosh is nowhere to be seen, so it is technically a 2v1 here. And I think this bazaar is going to go down. Here we go. I think no matter the map, you should always try and get a sneaky bazaar. Having to rebuild bazaars is annoying, so always go for it. So even though he's probably going to lose some troops there, he did get the bazaar, and now Adivasi's going to have to waste time rebuilding all that. Anyway, more Mahoodies. Uh, that's a delete. Yeah, no, he didn't destroy that one. That one's a delete. I saw the 150 though. All right. I was like, there's nothing there to get the second one. Anyway. Veterans of Askelith coming out immediately. Garrosh going to retreat. No forward base currently. We do have early troller and he is leveling up. Now, we've seen these two units used a lot, obviously. But it is a lot of money to sink in. So if this doesn't work, that's a lot of money that you won't get back. That's money that could have been invested in Urshak or Muzgash, who uh, obviously are much harder to kill than a snow troll. Yeah, Hesh playing the good teammate. He's gone with rebuild and he's gone with cav support. So doing really well. I imagine heroes are going to come out for Gondor pretty quickly because he hasn't actually spent that much. Um, although his cavalry haven't actually done that much, which is, which is a bit of a bit of a shame. And as I say, it, there he is, the Lord of Lossanak. All right, they're doubling up here. We do see violence coming down. There's cave bats for the debuff. And Mozgash is on the field. Okay, he did get it. Cavalry do flank around. There are some Harondor Outriders as well. But that's from Violence to Trample the Gondorians. 
And yeah, deals with the deals with the Goblin Archers really well. He probably wasn't expecting Harondor uh, Outriders because a lot of these Mahoodies. Um, actually, you know what? I think they're all kind of okay. Although, oh no, no, these ones are okay. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Out of us, he's fucked. Never mind. What am I talking about? He's surrounded now. Hey, yo, those house colors can't come in soon enough. You just gotta look at the mini map until then. But yeah, level three Putrid Blade. That's always annoying. And. That attack was sort of done and dusted. I think Gondor lost everything that was sent in because I don't see any cavalry that made it back. Yeah, that might have been bad. But he is making the mighty Axemen. He will need to back them up with Spearmen now that Harondor Outriders are in the uh, on the field. There's another one coming in. And they know where they are because obviously the outpost is giving them vision. They know they're taking it, but they're going to um, play it cool and not rush in. He has made ZR rule to uh, give leadership to your boys. But yeah, that was um, that was a bit of a costly attack by the right side team. So Poland losing currently. We will see. And it doesn't look like... I don't know. It, it's... I mean, it's so tempting to just upgrade this and go for Moomax. I know it will backfire, but man, it's, it's fun. Okay, he has made one snow troll. Let's swap the POV here. And they're going to get some nice... Um, creep money. While the right side team recovers from their losses here. Anyway, does Gondor go for an early blacksmith or... Sorry, not early blacksmith. Early marketplace? Or do they just sort of save up for all their heroes now? I don't know. Is there another hero coming out? There is. It's Faramir. Okay. He should be okay. He can like two-shot these snow trolls, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. Bit of a aggressive start, but now it's it's slowed down a bit. Making another snow troll. I hope that doesn't backfire because they are expensive. Level two. I think the early level two as well from violence. Um, might actually shake this up because they are pretty sturdy units, and uh, he's in a mirror here, so it might actually work out well here. And in any engagement, cave bats are always going to be so annoying because it's such a good debuff, dude. It's like Nazgul debuff, and it's just so good. Okay, it seems right side are going to be the aggressors again. Violence pulling back. And if this one backfires as well, if they, if they lose more than they kill, then this could be bad. Because you don't want to give them tier 2. You don't want to feed a tier 2 this early. Alright, one Axeman is going in to destroy the tunnel. Playing this very carefully. He's not clumping around anything. And the dry spell means he's just going to delete that and not going to bother. I'm not sure why he would do that. You might as well just keep it. Because uh, dry spell doesn't last forever. So he needs to cover the flank. There doesn't seem to be enough spearmen to cover there. Now that might be a problem. This might be a problem. I mean, Karal Lumbar, like most devastating heroes, are at their absolute weakest at level one. However, there doesn't seem an, there doesn't seem to be enough archers to sort of make him panic. Maybe Axon of Lost Knight can do some damage on him, but if he can get level three and he's still at a pretty healthy uh, health point, healthy health point, yeah, fuck it, why not? If he's still pretty good, then yeah, this is gonna turn the tide. Because a level 3 versus a melee-centric build and they're clumping, this could be bad. They've probably noticed the Krollenbard now because he's the only thing golden here. And these Axemen frantically trying to get back to their lines, get overrun. Okay. No, no, no. Ooh. Cave Bats with the Snow Trolls getting excellent value. Does try to mitigate some of it with the uh, War Chant. And ZR Rule's giving leadership as well, so maybe that can handle a bit. Trying to flank round here. The Gondor is not in a good position. He needs to start moving aggressively, trying to take down these Snow Trolls. Where the hell is Karal Ambar? He's in the back. Dude, okay, he's not even level 2 yet. Okay, Gondor does flank round, but the Outrider is getting so many good trambles. The Lin here really need to get in there. Okay, should be easy now. They're pinging Muzgash. There's the Wind Demon. Oh, that's such a shame for Gondor. I think he was actually in a... He got himself in a decent spot where he could actually kill all this. But yeah, the Wind Demon, he's, he's having to buy heal and just get out. These units are just trapped on nothing. The Axemen included. I mean, Fallon does get out. He didn't even have a chance to use level 3. Urshak is on the field as well. 
And yeah, I think right side team is going to have to change their strats. I think they're going to have to just go straight to Athelion Rangers. And no, no, no. You, you turn around and keep him, right? Hesh, if you don't if you don't turn around and save your 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 fall long, then you kind of deserve to. Okay, there you go. Anyway, here comes the counter attack. They pop level two. They've got dry spell as well. And because he's had to buy heal, he's not close to his tier two. But yeah, no, I think I think. Oh god, and it's like a forward archery range. Uh oh. If he loses it after upgrading it to level three, then that could be a problem. All right, Kralum, Kralum Bussy, almost level three on aggressive stance. He wants the XP. He wants the kills. And what a time to just inflict Wind Demon. Like, I know he had Urshak in there as well, but Forlong was ready to go with Vitality. He did have Axon of Lost Knack in the front line. If Wind Demon's not there, then he's then he's okay. Alright, Trollish Stew. Oh, poor Hefship with the tier 2 again. Boromir was on the front line, but having to leave immediately. And Forlong is definitely going to die here. Yeah, it's not worth focusing the, the, the Stew pot. That's a big 1,000 health. There's the level 3. He's low. He's... Wait, no. That's not... <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, well, it seems Adivasi made um, uh, Kralambar as well. And such is the problem with mirrors. You're facing your own hero, but this one's leveled up. And he got a level 3 off right outside the barracks. God, that's got a sting. And Poland are definitely on the back foot here. He's got Faramir. I mean, it's uh, it's 500 and then 600. Dude, it's worth the money. Some spearmen to cover from the cavalry. Those Athelians, they can just poke. They can outrange these snow trolls. They could do so much damage. He does have Marketplace, which is good at least. He did keep his Boromir alive, which is also good. It gives him a fighting chance. But losing Kralambar... Losing Kralambar is a big loss. Anyway, that's a level 3 Harondor outpost. He is making the elite archers on the top side. And he does... Oh, maybe he's going to go Hasharun Blades. He needs level 2 Sanctum. That's not too bad. But yeah, Hasharun might actually be the big brain play here. Um, I mean, he's going to be so annoyed. He's upgraded his Fortress as well. Got zero value out of Kralambar. That's so much money down the drain. I really feel for him here. Anyway. On the plus side, left side have dropped all their tier 2s. And I'm hoping Wind Demon isn't back. Okay, it's halfway back. They might still be able to get one more engagement before it comes back. And it seems uh, Garrosh is just going to queue up some uh, Snow Trolls. And let uh, Violence, you know, use a regular army. This could be a problem. It's, if he up I mean, it's expensive, but I mean, they're, 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 they're worth it. 700 and they're just good. They're so fucking good. It's, uh, yeah, it's insane. Anyway, yeah, he's probably going to get them now. And uh, there's going to be a few more surprises. Maybe a monkey or two. It doesn't look like he's made it, so I'm going to say no. Yeah, he is upgrading it. He's getting Black Numenorans, and we're back to our resting period. There is still hope for our Gondorians here. Although he did use up a lot of money on... Uh, ...and uh, Menace Tirith Archers, so... I don't know. Maybe he was panicking because the enemy was on his doorstep. Anyway, yeah, Philians, please get them out. Let's see that awesome range, and then if you have time, get the Bodkins. And just... Yeah, just melt those Snow Trolls. I would love to see that. Anyway... They need to stop playing the catch-up game with their heroes. I mean, Forlong's okay because he's level 3, but Borom is still level 1. Kind of useless at the moment. And, um... Wait, did he lose ZR rule as well? Because I don't see him. He might have lost both his heroes. Wait, he's going to level 3. Dude, no, I think Hasharin Blades is the way you go. Muzgash and Urshak? Well, he's going to level 3, so I think he's going to try and go for... Um, yeah, the spirit of Zigur, which again, it's, I mean, it could work, but it's a lot of money, and if it doesn't work, then you're kind of boned. Anyway, they're moving down south, they're going to try and deliver the knockout blow to Gondor, and who best to do it than Casimir, that just seems right. Actually, they've revealed their hand now, because he's capping the end, so that... The vision on that inn is actually proving invaluable because they know if they're going to double down now. So now Adivasi should move south. And we're going to get off Misty Camp. God, I hate that sound. Alright, Kralambar. No, that's not Kralambar. I clicked on him. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Okay, so he's got his level 3 back. He's got fire arrows for some reason. And Suladan is here as well. Wait, there's another one as well? 
Zero rule. Okay, yeah, this is... Oh, and Wind Demon is so close to being back. This has gone all violence his way so far. Okay. Their coming is heralded by the dry spell. The spell that that do be dry. Adavasi is moving down. He does have Harondor, which are strong, but they don't have any leadership to back them up. Or at least they... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if the, the cultus is going to work or if they're even going to get there in time. Bro, Wind Demon's back. That's so... That's so OP. There's Urshak doing Urshak things. Faramir Aravoli does stuff, apparently. And they don't know. Dude, I would actually... I mean, there's no way Wind Demon is back. No freaking way. There's Wind Demon. Manages to dodge a lot of it. Corellan Bar, though! <gasps> Straight to level 8! Oh my god, I didn't see him sneak in. The entire backline has been killed. And look how much damage one Ithilien Ranger is doing to him. There's tier 3. All those points for Corellan Bar. There's level 8. Uh, sorry, no, that was his level 5, wasn't it? So now they have minus 50% attack speed and uh, attack damage, which is insane. And... Yeah, I was so preoccupied by Wind Demon, I didn't even notice Kral and Bar go in. Oh my... I mean, that was... Yeah, that was... That was a stomp. That was a certified stomp. Casimir, even on his horse, getting value. And yeah, I like the idea of trying to stay under your fortress, upgrade it, and then just like, hope, like hopefully get him to just feed in and you can just kill him from the safety of your fortress. But yeah, your army's gone now. So it, it might have worked, but the army just, yeah, just got annihilated. And I kind of, I kind of want to replay that Kral and Bar moment, because that was actually really cool. Like flattened the entire back line. And I don't even know where Boromir went. Could not tell you. But yeah, that was one of the fastest matches on Anorian. And... Yeah, I mean, that's what's so demoraliz demoralizing about Mirrors, is that you revive your hero, you try again. I mean, Violences is level 8. And out of RCS has to start at level 1. He's gonna try and save his teammate, though. He summoned the Easterlings. Yeah, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Hesh went with Lone Tower. That's just as good as Wind Demon. Don't worry about it. Well, the fortress does stand. Am I actually... gonna see a comeback here? Or is that just Copium talking again? And there were spears in there. There was at least one spear, but tell that to Suladan. And there's the stun. Yep, he's pinging it. Yep, he's stunned the army. He wants them to go back in. Ooh! The Black Serpent. Very nice. Yeah. This is basically at the point where he could just spend money on anything. It doesn't matter. He's got... He's, he can just... He can just do whatever. Look. More reinforcements every day. And he's got heroic units now. Anyway, the fortress is very low, and I don't think this is enough to stop him. They actually went really heavy into the cavalry. So, that was actually surprising. Maybe they were prepared for, like, Athelians, I don't know. Or maybe he just likes to use cavalry on this map with Elmos. This might have actually just come down to the spells being just way better. Like getting Wind Demon before out of RC. And the bats again, just so useful. And now great or now giant scorpions have entered the mix. And level 10. I I what is that meant to be? Is that his mouth? Are those teeth? I don't know what that is. But yeah, pulls enemies towards him, gains armor, and can crush enemies. What the fuck was that? Bro, did a cultist make get get through? Wait, why are there Apricant soldiers? He's my golden king. All right, nullifies enemy leadership. Actually, a big brain play, but whether he's gonna survive long enough to get anything done here? 
Okay, there must be a sorcerer somewhere. Rude Devil, your camera work this cast has been terrible. You know what? It's a. It's. I don't care. Actually, I do, but fuck it. I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, Lord of Waves is here. They're not giving up. The fortress is rebuilding. He's made wall hubs as well, just to make it that little bit harder. And, I mean, this would all be done by... Si this would all be ended by Siege Mumak, but he's opted for the Scorpions anyway. He's probably gonna lose this one. He decapitated the heroic statue. That's what you get for 600 monies. I want to see how painful they can make it for the attackers. For attackers who refuse to build long-range siege. And he's got Watcher. Okay, maybe maybe they won't suffer. He's almost got tier 4. Okay, yeah, never mind. No, they're, they're fine. Yeah, it was Copium all this time. Damn, it was actually Copium this whole time. I thought maybe they could frustrate him. Nah, they've just gone for another base instead. And he's almost at tier 4. Okay. See, he needs to keep his spearmen with his archers, lest all these fucking cavalry trample him. But if he bunches up, he's at risk of the wind demon, so... Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. His hands are tied. Oh man, we arrivolied the snow trolls, that... Hesh, are you drunk? You've played this game before, right? Alright, we'll say he was... No, 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 <gasps> Wait, is that on... He... Bro. I would never play with Garrosh again. Never. Wait, it's on cooldown. Okay, forgiven. He didn't kill Steel. He did the pull-in, and I thought he was gonna do Breaker of Stone, but no, it was the... P the pull was the combo with the Watcher. Wait, why do I hear boss music? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, why is there fire again? Lug doesn't do that, he's on level 1. Okay, yeah, but there's walking boss music right there. Oh, man. Yeah, the pull into the Watcher, that was cool. <gasps> Oshak does die, nice. Finally, out of RC's Carol and Bar hits level 3. And I think that's tier 3 from uh, Violence, it is. And he has made a stone worker, dude. Credit to her, she's trying to... He's trying his best. Oh, converted a battalion and destroyed some, but yeah. <gasps> There's the rebuild. I don't think Black Matriarch can live through that. Or uh, hit through that. Oh my goodness. They might actually live to fight another day. The tier 4 might actually fail. He's got heroic units hitting the fortress as well. But Numenor and Stonework does not break so easily. He does. Oh, the fucking Karalamba is going to do it, I bet. No, he'll start healing per hit, right? This will proc soon. Did it proc? Okay, he got the fort. Very nice. Okay, it is proc. Look at that heal. Uh. Why do they make him heal, man? What is he on? Freaking roids? Just rename this one to Roid Rage. That would be equally as believable. Yeah, the Karalambar carry show right here. I think Black Matriarch might have actually failed. Eh, maybe I would have gotten there. It's still, it's still here. Yeah. I don't know whose heroes are dying now, but uh, oh, 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 come on, no, do it. This has been the bane of your entire existence. There's no way you don't just, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Nice. There, there, you can, you can, you can, you can die honorably now. You got Karal Umbar. I mean, he reached level 10 and your heroes have died like plenty of times, but you'd got him and no one can take that away from you. Dude, this game got done really quickly. I swear it was like 10 minutes and they had already got the advantage. Like, they'd already had enough to siege the fortress. And now it's been the like the last 10 minutes where it's... it's it's Yeah, they've just been sieging the Gondor for. Gondor is down. And... What has Gondor got left? Anything? He's got a lone tower. Ah, he's got a barracks here. Okay. I think that's it though. I think that might be it. Okay, here we go. Tier 3 has been propped. But both sides have tier 3 weather. 
There goes the stun from Urshak, and no, not again. Dude, he suffered enough. Come on, dude. Wait, does the does the buff from the fortress affect abilities as well? Bruh. Fucking bruh. Even out of Varsi's Kralambar's starting to rise through the ranks. Golden King's dying somewhere. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea where he is. Where was he? I'm just gonna follow the Black Mist. Nafarati! To me! <laughs> oh, I have no idea what's fucking going on. All I know is that out of Varsi had lots of upgraded Harondor, and now there's slightly less upgraded Harondor. Although Lord of Waves is getting some value, so there you go. Bruh, this guy's just unstoppable. Look at him go. With his fucking Rastakhan Rumble helmet. Think we wouldn't notice, but we did. Well, they're gonna frustrate him. And the thing is, is that Adavasi is getting closer and closer to tier 4. Is a Fort Rush on the cards? You know what? You might actually be able to get away with it. This one is fully upgraded, but I think Garrosh is. You might... Like, if I'm Adavasi, I'm thinking of a... Oh. <laughs> okay, listen. I know your armies were wiped, but you were close-ish to tier 4. I would have been thinking about a sucker punch, but hey, he's like, you know what, fuck this gun in mouth. Alright, so that was a Norin. That was why we don't like a Norin. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.